Using your iPhone as your main camera or even B camera can get the job done pretty well. Today, cell phones are taking amazing video, even in 4K, so you can start off a very successful YouTube channel with an iPhone. But, yep, you know it, there's always a but. Getting that gorgeous video from your phone can be a pain. I mean, you ever tried plugging your iPhone to your PC, go accept, trust computer, go to the folder selection, select your phone, see your folders, drag your video or picture, just to be told, nope, error, sorry, not today. Or how about go into the Windows Photo app, go to import, select your phone, it sees your phone, it's only for it to say, nope, trouble connecting, too bad. Has it ever happened to you? Yes, yes it has. That's why we are both here. So why does it do that? I don't know, who knows? My guess is probably the fact that we are still using the same backup from our original iPhone 1 and our phone's brain is all messed up and I don't know, who knows? The fact is, I'm gonna show you a way to bypass all of that and get your media right the first time, every time. All right, let's go. So once you're ready to transfer your media to your PC, first thing you're gonna do is go to your Photos app in your iPhone. If you have more than one video or photo you would like to transfer at once, go to Select Option, select the individual videos you want, and then go to the Share button. If you have just one video, you can go straight to the video and press to share. Once you see your video selected, scroll to the bottom where it says Save to Files. Since we want to get this file ASAP and locally, go to On My iPhone and pick an app. I'm gonna use GarageBand for iOS because it's a common app we all should have. And go to Save. From there, it sends your video to the GarageBand's internal folder on your iPhone. Now, connect your phone to your PC, bring up iTunes, go to File Sharing, and click on GarageBand. From here, you'll see the latest movie you sent to the GarageBand's document folder. If you have more than one, you can identify it by the date and time. Click on it, click on save at the bottom, and send it to whatever folder you would like the file to be transferred to on your PC from your iPhone. Me, I already created a scene folder on my desktop that I access from there. Click on the folder or search for a folder you may already have on your PC and press select folder. You will then see the progress of your file being transferred. Then, done. Go to your selected folder, and there you go. Your full file, no loss in quality, available for you. Now, a little bonus material. Maybe your cord is all shredded and it doesn't work anymore. All right, as long as your phone and PC are on the same network, check the sync with this iPhone over Wi-Fi in iTunes. Repeat the process all over again. File sharing, keep in mind, since we are going over Wi-Fi, it will be a bit of a slower process. Pick your app of choice, click on it, save, folder, select folder and watch it transfer and retrieve it. And done. No longer will your iPhone hold your precious files ransom. And again, let the machines know who is boss. I really didn't mean that. All right, I hope that helped you out. I know how frustrating this was and how so much time was wasted because of it. But now that is a thing of the past. Leave a comment down below if this helped you out and hit that subscribe and like button to let the computer overlords know that we will not go down without a fight. Hey guys, thanks for watching and don't forget, don't forget, learn, do, and share. I'll catch you later. Bye.